up towards the point, fakes the drop off into the middle, shot, and he scores. Tristan Ashbrook lets it go from way downtown. And the Adirondack Thunder have taken a two to nothing lead. And Harper heading up with the puck, comes in offside from the neutral zone. And now Harper knocks down Steos. And Shane Harper is going to be going into the box, and that is going to create a big scrum in below the Everblades goal line. Whole bunch of players in there shoving with each other right now, throwing some glove punches. And it might not just be Harper going into the penalty box. We'll see if anyone else is one of the Everblades players, looks like. Has had his helmet ripped off, one of the Thunder players as well. That's Isley who's lost his bucket. Hallway and Thompson away. They were just pulling each other apart, then had a couple shots for each other. So there's 33 seconds left in the Adirondack power play. It's Sutter for the Blades who had his helmet taken off his head. Carpenter cleanly wins the faceoff back. Jostling over to Hallway. He loses the puck, and that's going to be a late shorthanded break. Grasso in alone scores. Patrick Hallway handcuffed on a pass. The Adirondack Thunder strike shorthanded to stretch their lead up to 3 0 with 35 seconds to go in the first period. The Adirondack Thunder increase their lead up to three. Harper recovers the puck up to the point, across to the right side. Felix into the middle. Shot for McKinnon. Blocker save. Rebound. They score. That rebound went right over to Patrick Grasso. And now has back-to-back -back goals in this game. Patrick Grasso, that one five-hole, gives the Thunder a 4 to nothing lead with 5.39 to go in the second period. Feed up ahead for Oliver Chow. Bringing it over the blue line. Chow down the right side, pass out front, bounces, and it's on the back of Papura, and it goes into the net. The Blades get a bounce. 2.04 to go in the second period. Not sure if it's going to be Pendenza or Chow. Right now, it looks like it's going to be Oliver Chow's goal. Either way, the Blades, they get a big break and get on the board. 4-1 now with 2.04 to go in the second period. So if it's Chow's goal, that's his fourth goal of the season. Getting a look at it on the replay now. Looks like it was on Purpura's back. He was trying to push it against the post, but couldn't. Orgel dived behind to try and glove it off of his back. Didn't work out. Into the circle, banks it back for Thompson. Now played over towards the right wing. Pass back to Thompson, tipped away. Sendin going for it. He's going to get a break shorthanded. Sendin skating for it. Backhand slips it through and scores. The Blades get a shorthanded goal, and it's a big one. Blades now back within two. Mark Sendin goals in back-to-back -back games. Cuts the lead down to two with a shorthanded marker. Really good stick. That was all Sendin blocking the pass. Read it well. Got it up ahead, and it looks like Vinny Papura's biggest problem there is that he got caught in no man's land thinking about whether or not he was going to go and get the puck or just stay in his crease and handle the shot. Hesitated for that brief moment, gave Sendin an opening with a five hole, and he buried it 16 24 to go in the third period. Florida's made it a four to two game. He appreciates, loves the danger. The Blades. Looking to make him pay for that. Shot by Jostling. He scores. Sean Jostling. That's a patented Jostling wrister right over the glove side of Perper and into the back of the net. And the Blades capitalize on the five on three and make it a one goal game with 8.14 to go in the third period. It's 4 3. So Florida, they still got another minute 31 left on this power play. And that one, Jossling, he saw what he liked, and he picked his spot perfectly. For Jossling, that's his third goal of the season. Bringing it up is Morrison. He rings it around the boards in the Adirondack zone. Blades on side, a shot from Carpenter. Stop, rebound! Save made by Perpura. Went right into the slot, and down the ice it goes into the empty net. With 43 seconds left for Thunder. Get the insurance marker, and that should be the dagger to seal this one. Blades, valiant effort, and they got a rebound opportunity there. But Adirondack is dumping it down. They get it into the empty net. 
And they take a 5-3 lead.